Hello, it's Gina Lazenby with a few minutes of feminine wisdom. I thought I'd speak to you about maybe the challenges that you're having during this first month of the year. Now, if you're like me, you identify with being a change maker, someone who wants to make a difference in the world. I think a few of us, and I've been speaking to a lot of my friends and colleagues, I think that this is a very challenging time of year for us. And, and let me just share my experience. I normally take the month of January to um, process the previous year and kind of recalibrate my energies between the years in getting ready for the new year, which is, for me, beginning of February. Feng Shui New Year starts on February the 4th. The Chinese New Year is around that time and it changes. And that's when the real new energy comes in of the new year that's coming. And this year, the transition between 2013 and 2014, I think is very much more intense. Uh, I think as things quicken and accelerate, uh, everything's vibrating faster. And for me, the symptoms have been um, just really, just really having difficulty in just processing each day. And the way I deal with it is I don't have any expectations on myself. It's just get through the day, get through the week, get to the end of the month. But what I'm doing is I'm using my energy not to set goals and plan the year ahead because I just can't do that. I have less capacity to do that than I normally do and I don't have much in January. As I say, January is the month where I'm moving from one year to the next. It's like this empty chamber, a transition month. But I'm finding it, as I say, more intense this year. Um, I don't feel it's an appropriate time to set goals, although most people are doing that. What I am doing is my energy is moving inwards. Um, if you were a bear, you would be in a cave, really. You wouldn't, you, you know, this is hibernation time. So I've been turning my energy inwards, and I'm sure you have too, as much as I can, um, while having some kind of daily routine. And um, thinking about what I need to let go of in the process of becoming who I need to be. So shedding and, and making space. And I'm making big decisions about things I'm letting go of. And that takes a lot of psychic energy. So it doesn't leave room for me for much else. Um, I found it difficult to sleep. I found very little energy to exercise. Um, I've enjoyed a little too much comfort food. But... That is what it is. It, it is what it is. And I've, I've conned with the energy of that rather than resist it. That's where the problem is if you resist and, and, and try and overlay what you feel you should be doing. So my counsel to you would be, listen to your own feminine wisdom. What are you being called to do? Is it to withdraw, to move back, to move into yourself, to examine who you are now, who you need to be, what's emerging? the more we can shed in, in the way of patterns and behaviours and physical things in our environment, things around us we don't need, and let go of them without any notion of what we're actually attracting in, but just create the space. It's a big signal to the universe that you are ready for the big job that you're here to do. And you may not know what it is. In fact, so many of us do not know what it is we're being called to do right now. But we have a sense within of being ready for it. That this is now our time. And everything we've been doing is working to this moment. And we just don't know. But that don't know space, that space of not knowing, isn't, isn't a worry. We are still filled with hope. But we know that we have to let go. We have to shed. That's what I would encourage you to do. So good luck with that. You're not on your own. That's really what I wanted to say in this video. You're not on your own. It's, these are exciting times. And the most important thing is we need to take care of ourselves so that we're ready when we're called.